I have yet another Timu. It's a mixed haul. Oh, there's team, a little bit of Timu and then some Thriftage, Walmart, Dollar Store, what's this one? Ross stuff. So it's sort of a mixed bag. We'll do the Timu first. This one. Oh, got here really fast. See? They're getting here faster than others. It's strange. And this is they're trying all different shipping type things. I don't even know what this is. Oh. Okay. There's this is some Mr. Retro shoes. Let's look at these. Oh, these were the ones that were sort of a sort of a tactical brownish green. Those look pretty good. Anyway, it says some word there and it says fashion. Oh, they're kind of they got they're very nicely padded and it looks like they have insoles in them already. So he'll oh and they like these nice stretchy <clears throat> shoelaces. This is fashion. So he is fashion. Lots of nice fashion. So and he got two of them. So, and they match. So that is cool. So the, he got those. Uh, this is, uh, oh, these are drill bits. I don't remember. These were not expensive either. They have funny ridges on them. I'm not, what does it say anything? Of course not, no. <laughs> it's some kind of uh, drill bits that fit in his, I think his um, electric drill. And... I don't know if that's for something special or not. Not sure. But in his little case. And then this is his too. This was, um, I think this was when I was replacing the mirror in my off light. And I had about this much room to get a screwdriver straight in. <clears throat> so I had a little stumpy screwdriver that I had bought from Timo. And I used that. But I think this would be even easier. Yeah, it's sort of a <clears throat> ratcheting. Let's see if this open. It's a ratcheting so that you can, put, and then you put these little bits in. Let's put one in. Hope I'm doing it right. Because, and we're always having to do this. We're always going in a little tight space, and there's a screw, you know, because when they manufacture things, they just pop it all together, I think. And then you're left with, oh, how am I going to get a screwdriver in there to replace this? Okay. okay. See, it goes like that. And then you can stick it in like that. It's like a socket type, ratchet type affair here. And this is probably, you know, go one way and then, yeah. Oh, that's pretty snazzy. I think this is maybe $3. But see, and then you have... You can get in areas like this. Maybe it goes in even more. I'm not sure. But that's cool. So we are glad to have this in our arsenal of tools. I, this is something, too. Let's see what this is. Let's see. Uh, let's see. What is this? Oh. Oh. It's another one. Oh, he got two of them. Oh, this one looks nicer. See? In it? Yeah. And it go one way and then the other way. <clears throat> and the bits. Oh, it tells you there. So, if you need something like this, and if we're always needing something like this. Very cool. And it's not something you're using all the time, so you don't need to spend a whole bunch of money on it. But they're kind of, it's kind of nice to have something like that. Oops. And then this came from a conversation I had with Joni from the House of Joni. Check out her channel if you have not. It's awesome. She's working on a new project right now and should be having lots of cool videos coming. We have... Um, We were talking about German glass glitter and how expensive it is and hard to find. So, 
Let's see, this is not bad. It's not as fine as the real expensive stuff, but it's not bad. You can use this to trim on your projects, especially for Christmas things, I was thinking. So I got the, I don't want to take too much of this out, the white and what's this one. I think this was the gray or the silver. They had it in all different colors. <clears throat> And very inexpensive, like maybe a dollar and a quarter. Oh. There we go. There's the silver. Very nice. And I think this is the gray. They used to <clears throat> they used to sell very fine, antique looking, mica looking uh, glitter. But then I heard the guy at the display stores told me that Gautier bought the rights to it. And they took it off the market because I have not seen it for years. So we're going to try that. It's kind of big, but we sh we'll give it a shot. Okay, that's it for the Timu. Then I went to Thrift City. I found a few things. This was a this is a little Pyrex mini casserole, so it was half price. $1.30. And what else did I get there? Oh, these. These little bowls. So these were a dollar fifteen. They're just little wooden bowls. I thought they would be nice for condiments or snacks. Why well, you could stick candy and nuts in there. All sorts of things. And what else did I get? Uh, I thought I got something else. Oh, yes. I got these three. I couldn't help myself. I don't know. These were from Thrift City. And they're in the they're in the cardboard containers, which I thought was cool. So they were only two and a quarter a piece. And they're just little Starbucks. I don't even go to Starbucks, but I do like some of their merch. This is very and this is their classic pretty Christmas colors. So I got these are the 2016. Three of those for two something a piece. They were just putting out some Christmas stuff. And then, yes, we got these boo buckets. I haven't had a Happy Meal in a million years, but I wanted this bucket. There it is. Why is that off center? You know, I guess it isn't. It feels like this face is off center to me. Yes, it is. You know, really, <laughs> McDonald's, you can't center your motif with the handle. Okay, is this one? Yeah, they're all off center. This one's centered, okay, I guess. Yeah, this one's centered. Okay, so, and then I even, and it had this thing. I don't know what this is. I'll probably throw that away. And it had a mini, little teeny, you know, these, are, these are the crummy little fries they give you. It was okay. I, you know, I don't usually eat McDonald's, but I wanted these buckets. And you know, these were the only ones available were these purple ones. So, you get what you get, I guess. Then it went to Dollar Tree, got some more of these. Mini battery lights. These aren't bad for a, a dollar and a quarter. And it's only 10, so it's a nice short strand. And then I found some red trees that I was looking for for doing my anthropology look thing. He, they had some pretty green ones, too. I have to study that picture. But got these two, so I'm on my way. And let's see. Then I went to Walmart down there. And I got this guy. I have a put it up a little bit. I have a big version of him. And this this is how he looks lit up. But I think he's kind of unimpressive with his little LED light. It's kind of like 7-Eleven lighting. So I'm thinking of Mr. Reptiles and drill a hole in him and stick a little uh, C, C9 or C7 bulb in there and light him up proper. Like a real illuminated. Not this. So, he's cute though. And they had Oh, what did they have? I think they had a deer. Uh, 
I can't remember what else they had now. I was in a hurry, so we had just grabbed this and zipped out. But look how cute he is with these red trees. Yes, that's very cute. This would be nice for in the bathroom or kitchen. And, oh, I got this at Walmart, too. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be working on a project with House of Joni, and we wanted some little sparse trees in the background. I think this needs some fluffing, but it's not too bad. It's kind of plasticky. But it was three dollars, three ninety seven. I don't know. I guess it's okay. We'll see how it works out. I don't know where you find those little sparse trees to be, you know, nice ones. I guess I have to research it and look. Like everything else here. Let's see. Again, I don't know. I don't even know if you can fluff this thing. It's so plasticky. So. I'll work on this. I don't know. I'm not sure on this one yet. Not too bad. Then I went to uh, Ross, and they have some nice candles. So does Dollar General. They have some candles, like three wickers. Nice candles. Smell good for like $5, $6. This one was $5.99. It's just a single one, but it's pine. So we like the pine flavor ones and then I got look at this I get this at Ross too I use turmeric in the dog's treats when I make them because it's good for them it's good for everybody it's an anti-inflammatory $3.99 for this big thing well that's really nice and it's a cute jar so I'm set on turmeric for a while and then I got this to try also at Ross $2.99 it's to make white chicken chili is Oh, oh, buckeye beans. I don't know what that means, but there's the the uh, recipe. So it's got a seasoning packet in it, so that makes it nice. And I think you just add a onion and some chicken and some mild green chilies. I have all that, so I might make this tomorrow. Well, it looks cool. Where is it from? Northwest style. Let me see. Let's see where it's from. SeattleGourmetFoods.com. Oh, I'm from Kent. Oh, my cousin used to have a business doing this. But she didn't do it anymore. So, yay, on that. And then, this is why I ordered this. I couldn't. Hey, this is from, uh, there's a sucker in here. Oh, I can't remember her name. <clears throat> Dime, Dime Store Chic. She's on Instagram. I think she has her thing here. Yeah, and it, it's, see? Her name's Liz as well. Here's her card. There you go with her infos on there. You can follow her on Facebook, Instagram, and she makes assemblages of the cutest things for holiday or anytime she she takes vintage stuff and just puts it together beautiful so that's her card and this is how, oh, see i love it when they do this to old patterns which i don't at all mine use it for tissue wrapping this is, oh this is good check that out see she puts Little vintage pieces in. Beautiful little troll. Little nutmeg. Oh gosh, this is cute. Look at that. There is an art to doing this. This doesn't just happen by itself. If you've ever tried to do something like this, you're like, oh, wait a minute. This is really good. So, on that note, I will end. But don't forget to check out Dime Store Chic for her super cute stuff. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.